Paper on Etsy, Instagram, and YouTube. And today I'm here to show you how I plan my day. So this is my planner. It is a personal size file effects, and it is the Safiano style in aquamarine. And I am really liking it. I've had this planner for about a year and a half, and it's still in really good shape. Um, it wears really well, and it's super convenient just to throw in your purse. So this is the planner I'm using right now, and these are my inserts for this week. I have two sets of inserts that I use on a weekly basis. I've got my weekly layout, which I'll show you here. Looks just like that. Take this out so you can see. And I did film a plan with me on this week, so check out my previous video if you'd like to see that. Uh, and then in addition to my horizontal week on two pages with the tracking boxes there on the side, I also have daily pages that I stick right in the middle. And these daily pages are set up so that you can see each day at the same time as you can see uh, that half of the week. So Thursday is on this side of the page so that you can see it at the same time as the weekly Thursday and so on and so forth. So you've got Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, I kind of have mine out of order. So if I put them in order, there you go. You've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then on the back sides, um, you've got two blank notes paper pages. And then you've got Friday and the weekend. And um, you could separate Saturday and Sunday onto you know one of the notes pages as well. I just try not to have super long to-do lists on the weekend. Um, this is kind of my reminder to myself not to overbook the weekend. So um, that's why I put it all on one page. But today is Thursday, the 24th of August, 2017. And I've got my daily layout here that I was using at work today and since I've been home. Um, and this is what I got done. So I'm just going to move that one over to the side here. I got these tasks that are all checked off. Those are completed. Those were things that I got done at work today. And then these are things that I still need to do here at home. So what I do to plan my day is I kind of look through and I look at the things that didn't get checked, both on the weekly page and on the daily page. Now typically how I do this is the daily page has smaller tasks um, or things that just kind of pop up throughout the day. And then the weekly page has really big tasks that I often have to break down into smaller tasks. So you can see here, um, I did not get my new student vaccinations and health histories. That's a really, really big task. I did not complete that. In fact, unfortunately, I did not even get it started. This was the first kind of baby step in getting that big thing started, and it was not something I got done today. Uh, I work at a school, and the beginning of the school year is crazy, so um, we're constantly, I'm at least me, I'm constantly shuffling around my to-dos and just kind of catching up as I can. So um, that will have to move till tomorrow. Uh, in my other weekly page task here. I've got film video, which I'm doing right now, so I'm going to go ahead and check it off. And I didn't actually break that down. Um, sometimes I would, sometimes I would like, you know, put uh, plan out video, film video, upload to computer, that kind of thing. Um, but today I just didn't feel like it. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off. And these tasks over here that I still have uh, uncompleted on my home part of my daily page. Those are tasks that kind of go with my fly lady system. These are my tasks that I wanted to do for my zone cleaning. My zone this week is the master bedroom and the master bathroom. So these were three things I wanted to do in the master bathroom. I wanted to wipe down the inside and outside of my cabinets, my drawers, and then I have this like platter thing that I put on top of the counter that holds soap and um, toothbrush holders and that kind of stuff. So I wanted to take everything off and wash that platter as well. So I'm going to get those done. Those should only take me 15, 20 minutes. So I will do that right after I film this video. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move my planner over to the side and I like to write on top of another sheet of paper. That's just my preference. So I'm just going to set that down and here's my page from today. Here is my page for tomorrow. And anything that did not get done, I just mark it with an arrow. That's my note to myself that I needed to move it to another day. 
and I'm gonna move it right over here to tomorrow. So clean up schedule teams. Okay, and I'm gonna do that same thing, just move all of the tasks that I didn't get completed today on to tomorrow, and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. Okay, so there are all the tasks that I had to migrate from today on to tomorrow. And you'll see that I actually kind of upped the number there for my big task, um, which is student vaccines and health histories. Um, since I didn't even get that started today, I need to get more than just four done tomorrow. So I upped that and I broke it down into a couple steps there on my page for tomorrow. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna do in order to plan my day is I'm gonna look at the tasks that I have here on my weekly page for Friday, and I'm gonna break those down into their subtasks, um, and or I'm gonna kind of think of anything else that just popped up last minute today that I wanna add to my work and home section for tomorrow. So I'm gonna break these things down. Okay, so there are the subtasks for my weekly tasks for tomorrow. And the other thing that I like to do is typically on the back of my first two daily pages, which are just those lined pages, I use those to take notes and to write um, kind of like big to-do lists for things um, like for projects. So this is one big project that I got this week um, with a bunch of tasks that I need to complete and um, I've already completed a few of them. Some of them will have to go to next week as well, but I'm just gonna take a look through my project list and also through my weekly to-do list and see, all right, what else do I need to add to tomorrow and try to get done, try to get completed during my day tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's the only other th two things that I think I will realistically be able to get done tomorrow. Uh, even this I think is probably a little ambitious, but I like to put more on my to-do list, especially for work tasks, um, so that I never reach a point where I'm like, uh, what do I do next? I don't ever wanna have that trip up um, of just kind of being stuck and having to think about what's the next thing on my list, what's my next priority, I like to put as many priorities down as I can and then if I don't quite get to them all then I'll have to move them to the next day but this way I've always got the next thing in line ready to go so that is all I've got so far um, the other thing that I do every day and that I add to my daily page every day is since I'm doing fly lady zone cleaning I go to my home tab and specifically into my kind of control journal that I've set up for the Fly Lady system. And I go to my monthly zone cleaning checklist for this week. So here's my checklist for this week. I've got um, that I'm working in the master bedroom and bathroom. So these are the things I've already completed. And I'm just gonna look through that and choose out what tasks do I wanna try to get done tomorrow. Remembering that I don't wanna spend more than 15 to 20 minutes any given day. So I know I'm gonna get uh, cabinets, drawers, and counters done today. So tomorrow, I'm gonna focus on some of those remaining tasks like the dresser, closet, and the shower slash tub. So I'm just gonna jot those down. Um, none of those places in my house right now are particularly messy. They're all relatively clean. So I do think that I'll have time to touch up my closet and dresser, um, just kind of reorganize a little bit if anything got out of place. And if there's anything I want to move to my donate bag, I'll do that as well. And then just give the tub a quick scrub as well. So I don't think uh, that will be too much. And I just add those to my list. And then from there, that's pretty much all I do to set up my day. Um, 
I just take one more glance at my weekly page, think about if there's anything else I wanna do. Occasionally I'll add like some fun washi tape um, just to kind of decorate my page a little bit if I have extra space or sometimes if there's something that's going to take a very big chunk of my day, I'll just kind of mark that out so that I don't plan too much there. Um, but for tomorrow, I think that this will be just perfect. And I like having this done usually the night before. That way when I wake up in the morning, I'm ready to go, ready to conquer, and ready to check things off on my list. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, as always, feel free to put them in the box down below. Um, also, if you're interested in my inserts, please check out my Etsy store. I will put the link in the description box below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!